What is up YouTube? This is Guy Kicks. Hope you guys are all having a great day today. Before I get into this video, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell with notifications every time I drop on these bangers, hit the like button, hit the share button, do all of those great things for me. Follow me on Instagram, at the real he got kicks. We're almost at 13K followers there. Uh, man, we kind of went up on there pretty quick, not gonna lie to you. Uh, but follow me on TikTok, he got kicks 95. And of course, follow me on Twitch, where we now stream Call of Duty and, you know, Warzone and me raging and stuff like that. He got kicks underscore 95. Uh, today's video is sponsored by, of course, the one and only Soul Premise sneaker travel bags. This is my new daily commuter because I abused my other one and it ended up breaking. So they had to send me a new one. So shout out to Anthony, shout out to Soul Premise, appreciate you. So this is the one I use for work every day. It is actually also the one where I take like weekend trips somewhere or something like that. I take this as well because you can fit two sneakers right here. You can fit, you know, usually a change of clothes or whatever in this front pocket right here or back on right here. Boom. And of course you can fit your miscellaneous stuff and everything right here on the front or even this pocket right here on the front as well that is much bigger which i don't really use that one that much not gonna lie so this right here is for the laptop this all this right here a heck of a deal using my discount code he got kicks saves you 40 percent off real leather that thing right there saves you it's like if on the daily commuters it's like 80 something dollars so it saves you quite a bit of money so go ahead use my discount code he got kicks get you a bag only way that i travel only way i'll ever travel so again check them out today's video is going to be a little different we're going to be talking about something i've been kind of debating on and i want to hear your guys list because i feel like as a sneakerhead we all have one of these and or a lot of us probably have multiple but at least one this is going to be my top five sneakers that i regret selling and disclaimer some of these i sold before and then i went back and got but i regret selling them because i had to pay more than i sold them for to get it back and that's happened a few times so you know it is what it is that sucks but show must go on I wanted the sneaker back and so therefore your boy had to pay and I'm sure a lot of us uh, in the community have had to do that before. So let me know if you have a top five, drop it in the comment section down below. If you have just one that you can think of, drop that in the comment section down below. I want to hear everybody's list. I want to hear everybody's and why you did it and whatever. And so again, hit the like button. Every like counts every light takes two seconds so check it out so number one on this list is a sneaker that i'm thinking about going back and getting right now as we speak and that is the air jordan 7 bordeaux and the 2015 pair that is probably that's my favorite seven of all time i love that shoe so much i cannot stress it enough how much i love the bordeaux 7 and it's just one of those things that I had a half size too big and I was like, ah, yo, I'm, I'm not going to wear this because it is a half size too big and it's going to slip or whatever. So I just went and moved it and now I just wish, man, I just want that Bordo 7 back. And again, that's a lot of us, but the Bordo 7, man, that is one that I just, I think about that shoe often. So that is one sneaker that I really want back. Uh, number two on this list is a sneaker that... I bought early, I thought I overpaid for it, ended up selling it, getting my money back, and now it's worth like, somebody said the other day, they sold it for like $800. And that is the Air Jordan 4 Black Cat. I was, whenever they came out, I, you know, I bought them early, and I was like, man, it's just a really all black shoe, and I was like, you know, I don't know when I'm gonna wear it, and I was like, you know, I just get my money back because they were going up a little bit, so I, thought, I just get my money back, put it towards another sneaker that I want, and now like $800, and I've been thinking about getting that one back too, but then as the price climbs, the more that I'm just like, hell no, I'm not gonna wear it. So that that is what that is that is probably that's probably on a lot of people's list because i remember being in the store i bought them early we had them sitting for weeks weeks we got restocked so many times on them within a month and i could have gotten my discount so many times on a couple pairs 
and now they're worth eight hundred dollars and you know is what it is that one is probably one that a lot of us um, want to have back uh, the next one will be a shoe that I do have back this one the Air Jordan 1 low Travis Scott OG mocha this one right here I sold it when I first hit on sneakers because I was a half size too big I sold it at like eight hundred dollars and I got like seven hundred back for it which was cool but your boy had to pay like 15 to get it back so I basically I paid double to get this sneaker back it sucks <laughs> but it's what it is and at the time when I hit these I gotta admit I was not in the best financial so I was like man $700 I'll take that $700 like, <laughs> I'll take that real quick uh, for a 130 I'll take 700 for sure but it, it just is what it is that happens um, I'm glad we're much better off now uh, but that is definitely one that well that stuck with me because I had to pay double for that one the next one is the Air Jordan 4 Motorsport the original I had a half size too big in that one as well and because it was whenever you're a sales associate at finish line you, know, you, you were kind of the low, low on the totem pole so I kind of took what I could get and it was low and now if I want to get that sneaker back it is like $500 and makes me just cringe every time i hate it Ooh, i hate it i hate it hate it hate it um the other one that i really have been thinking about a whole lot lately and want to get it back is air jordan 11 bread i'm not a big jordan 11 guy but that sneaker right there is iconic i you know i just saw it because i was like i'm you know I never I'm gonna put it towards something else I, I don't ever really wear Jordan 11 so I was like screw it who cares uh, but now that more and more I think about it I got the Concours got the cool grays and I was like man I probably need to go ahead and grab the breads again so that right there are my top five sneakers that I regret selling and a little bit of backstory as to why a little bit of backstory of most of these I want back and most of these I probably will end up with them back in the collection it's just a matter of when or how and that will probably happen with a lot of these but unfortunately not it won't happen all to, with all of them some of them I'll just forget about and just say screw it I'm done uh, but again I want to know your guys list in the comment section down below let me know your guys list I really really am curious and I really want to know because we all I'm sure have had these same situations and these same thoughts so again you guys if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button ring the bell with notifications hit the like button hit the share button do all those great things i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video